Tonight, discussing education funding across the Commonwealth. A task force has been assigned to review the formula, which could have ramifications for our hometowns. Senior reporter Joe DeShiel breaks down today's discussions. Both Democrats and Republicans support changes to Virginia's school funding formula, but they agree it's going to take plenty of time and money. Thursday morning, a joint subcommittee considered recommendations the General Assembly could take up in January. The estimated price tag for those first proposals is close to $1 billion, so it remains to be seen how much money lawmakers will approve and how many years it might take to phase in the changes. Roanoke Democrat Sam Rasool is chair of the House Education Committee and vice chair of the Joint Subcommittee reviewing the funding formula. On both sides of the aisle, there are people who believe that more needs to be done to be helping our public schools or finding out that we are underfunding our education system by billions of dollars. And so, so these short-term recommendations that we're working on at least begin to help out some of our local schools. Botetourt County Republican Terry Austin supports changes to the funding formula, especially the cap on support services. But he says any additional education money needs to go where it will have the biggest impact on student performance. Uh, we're going to have to do this incrementally. We can't do it all at once. My concerns are that we put the dollars where we need to put them. The dollars go to helping educate the child. Most of the near-term recommendations would increase funding for all school districts in Virginia. But the range is wide, from thousands more for some school divisions to tens of millions for others. It could be a major and challenging issue of the coming General Assembly session, likely decided, Austin says, among budget negotiators and Governor Youngkin. Joe DeShiel, WDBJ7.